My name is Xavier here with another Adobe After Effects tutorial today, and uh, one somebody, this person right, right here, right, right there, requested that I make a tutorial for the uh, reverse pixel poly thing. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Just make a new uh, thing called reverse pixel poly. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it on text because that's what the video was doing it on. All right, now you wanna go into your effect simulation pixel poly okay <coughs> so the first thing you want to do is set all this to zero keyframe keyframe okay drop down the arrow for the text and then the effects drop down and CC pixel poly then I'm gonna go up to about 15 seconds change gravity to negative one and change the force to 100. Also change the grid spacing to about 2 or whatever you prefer. I just like it being like that. And uh Okay. And then um after you do that, what you want to do is change the uh force center so go back to the beginning. And force center make a marker for that. I'm pretty sure it's that thing right there. So yeah. Actually, I'm just going to use this drag it over to about right there and then go up to wherever it is that it last goes off screen so exactly one second so awesome uh, that's way too far alright and there we go <coughs> so whenever you have it this is what it should look like like this like that so it's kinda like a smooth kinda thing going on there so now that you have that what you wanna do is um <clears throat> make if you want to have it so that the text is like still there afterwards I suggest making a new layer call it Bridium 67 here and make it so that it comes on this is the one with the pixel poly so let me rename that pixel poly <clears throat> and then uh, however long you want it to be just drag it out to that far I'm just gonna put it to five seconds even though you might want to have it for longer than that so now okay control shift, control shift D <coughs> splits the clip and then just get rid of the top one so now that I have all of that I'm gonna I think yeah right there okay I'm gonna get rid of where it comes off at the end so and drag this around if you hold shift it snaps to the thing so now you wanna you wanna render this out so add to render queue output module lossless change the format to h.264 output audio well you don't have to output it unless you do have audio in it And then I'll just route, render it out to this save and then uh caps locks all right I'll render this out real quick and then uh, I'll be back afterwards okay so now that that is uh rendered I'm gonna create a new project don't save uh, 16 bits per channel okay composition new composition reverse pixel poly file import file okay oh that's recording right now free agent go flex drive that and then drop this in <clears throat> and then after you drop that in you're going to go to time enable time or no not enable time remapping time verse layer so let me pre-render this real quick and now that I got that this is uh what it looks like you can make it go slower or faster just mess with the pixel poly stuff but alright that's the end of this episode thanks for watching see you later